The ocean is really, really deep, deeper than most of us realize. If you were to scrape off all the land masses from the tops of every continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest points with that land, then the entire Earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep. Let's scale this visually. Consider this small dot as an average human for reference, and this gigantic one as the largest ship ever built, the Nock Nevis. Keeping these scales in mind, let's start going underwater and see what we find out. The first milestone is at 40 meters below the surface, which is the maximum depth allowed for recreational scuba diving. At 100 meters depth is where diving can become seriously fatal if you're not careful. Despite these known risks, Herbert Nitsch braved the waters and set a freediving world record to an astonishing 214 meter depth. Not far from there, at 332 meters, lies another record set by Ahmed Gaber in scuba diving. Moving further down at 500 meters, we find ourselves at the maximum dive depth of blue whales, Earth's largest living creatures, and the limit of the US Seawolf-class nuclear submarine. At 535 meters, we can witness the maximum dive depth of emperor penguins. It's important here to bring attention to water pressure at this level. It is roughly equal to having a polar bear stand on a quarter. So further down the depths at 830 meters would be the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building in the world. Once we hit 1000 meters, light from the surface can no longer reach beyond this point. So the rest of the ocean below is in permanent darkness. Moreover, at this depth, one would experience pressure equivalent to that found on surface of the planet Venus, meaning that you would die very quickly. At 2,000 meters, we start coming across some of most terrifying sea creatures, like the black dragonfish, a carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it. Meaning that since we are in total darkness underwater at this point, the only way you would ever see this thing is with a flashlight. Just a bit deeper at 2,250 meters, is the deepest known point that sperm whales and the frightening colossal squid have dived to. Sperm whales often have sucker marks and scars left on their bodies from battles with the colossal squid that likely take place at these incredible depths. But the like and subscribe buttons are not that deep, and clicking them would really make the YouTube algo happy. And way further down at around 3,300 meters, a debris field containing parts of Ocean Gate's Titan submersible was found, and at 3,810 meters, we can find the wreck of the RMS Titanic. Just slightly beyond this point at about 4,000 meters, you cross into the abyssal zone of the ocean. The water pressure here escalates to an intense 11,000 pounds per square inch, and there are numerous strange, almost alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths, such as the fingtooth, anglerfish, and viperfish. Down at 4,267 meters, is the average depth of the ocean where you would normally expect to hit the floor. But there are parts of the ocean that go deeper than this. The Hadal zone commences at an astounding depth of 6,000 meters. The immense pressure experienced at these depths is approximately 1,100 times greater than what we experience on land, roughly equal to a single person bearing the weight of 50 Boeing 747 aircrafts. Down at these depths, you would be crushed immediately without any outside protection. At 6,500 meters, we reach the maximum depth that the DSV Alvin can dive to, a popular research submarine that helped discover the Titanic. Way further down at 8,848 meters below the surface, and we have arrived at the height of Mount Everest, were it to be upside down and placed underwater. Further down at 10,898 meters, we arrive at the extraordinary depths reached by filmmaker James Cameron during the Deep Sea Challenger mission in 2012. In 1960, the deepest ever point reached by humans was achieved by two men, Don Walsh and Jacques Picard, when they dived to an astonishing depth of 10,916 meters using their Trieste submarine. Just a bit further down at 10,972 meters, and we've reached the average cruising altitude of commercial aircrafts. Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we have hit the bottom of the known ocean called the Challenger Deep, right here on this map. However, it is believed that there are even deeper parts of the ocean which haven't been discovered yet. Currently, only about 5% of the ocean's floor has been accurately mapped, leaving the other 95% to be a mystery.